Hey guys, my name is Jasmine Solano. And I'm Samantha Valenzuela. And this is our podcast called Surviving Senioritis. And in this podcast, we're going to be talking about our senior year experience, and we're also going to be having guests as well. Yeah, so today we have... I'm Ryan Samaya. I'm Aiden Smiley. <laughs> okay, um, so how is your guys' senior year treating you so far? Um, so far, it's, uh, it's pretty good. I'm, I'm really trying to make the most out of it, so I want to do everything I can. Recently, I joined the uh, BSU. It's pretty, it's interesting, but so far, so good. Yeah, uh, my senior year has been pretty, pretty well so far as well. Um, I got all the classes I wanted, which is very important early on. And uh, with all my clubs, everything's been going pretty smoothly. Um, and, you know, just hoping for the best this year. How's your senior year been? Uh, my senior year has been, it's been pretty okay. Um, nothing crazy's happened, but it's been good so far. I have my classes that I want, and um, yeah, I'm involved in everything that I need. So. How about you? Yeah, it's been pretty good. Pretty, I don't know, boring <laughs> so far, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, um, are you guys involved in any extracurriculars? Uh, yes. Um, my two main, like, huge extracurriculars I'm a part of are the football team and FFA. Um, in FFA, I this is my first year. I'm actually not an officer, but I get to really experience um, all the hands-on activities, uh, which include our projects, our speaking competitions, and other events like that that I get to be a part of and learn a lot from. Mm-hmm. On the football team, I'm a, I'm the captain of the football team this year, senior varsity, and uh, you know we're going into our week three, um, and just hoping for the best this season. Can I, can I ask why you're not an officer this year for FFA? Oh, I just wanted to really give someone else the opportunity. That and, uh, you know, I got other things I want to do in high school. You know, <laughs> you want to try to do as much as you can without, mm-hmm. you know, killing yourself. Got it. Maybe. I'm in uh, two clubs. I'm the president of the wrestling club, and I'm on the football team. Um, I'd say my best one that I'm probably the best at is wrestling. Uh, I think the best part about being – President of the Wrestling Club is really getting to know everyone as a wrestler and getting to meet new people and see what they're made of. But football, I'm a starting corner on the left side, number 27. <laughs> <laughs> and football is pretty fun. It's going good so far. Okay, so you guys both play uh, football. Uh, what positions are you guys? And how long have you been that position? I've been a corner for three years now. And I've been a receiver for four years now. Got it. Um, I have a question. Might be a little personal, but when you guys lose, like, do you guys get in trouble? Did you write that question? No. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, uh, we don't get in trouble. It's really all about a learning experience. Um, in every game you uh, lose or win, you have to find out everything you did wrong, everything you did right. And I'm going to stop you there. We do get in trouble <laughs> for the flags. Yeah, that's true. No matter how many flags we get, that's how much we run. Really? I don't so like if we get like that. fifteen flags, that's what? I don't know. Fifteen gassers or however many we have to run. Mm. That's just that's just because coach doesn't like you. Sounds like fun to me. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's just a big learning experience. Okay, so for football or, or wrestling for you, is it more like of a hobby, like th- just because you wanted to be involved in something for high school, or is it like a passion, like you want to go somewhere with this? I um I actually have been talking to my recruiter about joining the Naval Academy for wrestling, mm-hmm. so it's definitely more passionate. Um, I really want to go far with it because it's just something I fell in love with my freshman year. I started freshman year, I went to CIF, and ever since then I really got a taste for victory, and since that moment, my coach told me one thing. He said, if you don't give up on me, I won't give up on you. And that just took me to where I'm at now. I 100% agree uh, with football for myself. Um, football is one of those sports where you're always learning something about the sport and about yourself, about your new limits you can push, and you're always finding out that you always have more in you. So it's definitely, definitely passion for me. Um, I played football my entire life, as in these m- past four years have probably been the most amazing lives, uh, years of my life. And I don't know. I hope I can one day keep playing football in the future, but if it doesn't, I'm just so grateful for all the lessons I've learned t- up to this point. And what about you? How do you feel about softball? Passion or just, <laughs> eh, it's whatever? Uh, 
more recently softballs became like a passion just like over quarantine I just got like so attached to it because it took me out of like the state of mind that I think everyone was in over quarantine so it really just helped me like escape so I have I was actually on the phone with like a recruiter yesterday so it's I want to go to college for it I want to go somewhere with softball so it's a passion that's cool (laughs) thanks uh can I ask Ryan how did you uh break your leg and do you know like when you're coming back well, I sprained my ankle, and I'm still <laughs> oh. waiting on results to find out if it's broken. Um, <laughs> but I hurt it at our first game of the season. Lucky me. Um, yeah, I was kind of running across the middle, making a block or something. I don't really remember. But a guy fell down, and my ankle kind of got rolled over. And, like, the initial pain wasn't, like, that bad. It was kind of like when I saw it happen, I knew it, 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 would, it would hurt. I was more freaked out about that, and when I was on the ground – Everyone kind of figured, oh, it's a cramp, it's a cramp. Grab his leg, stretch it out. And I was like, uh-uh, don't, don't, don't touch my leg. <laughs> but um, I should be back, hopefully, um, next week, if not that week, then the following week. But I should be back next week. So um, do you prefer your scooter or your crutches? <laughs> Once again, who wrote these questions? <laughs> um, uh, definitely the scooter. Yeah, the scooter helps a lot. You know, it's easy on the arms. Kind of pushed him on the way here. All yeah, way on our way to the podcast, he's pushing me out of school. Mm-hmm. That's pretty yeah, fun. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure in our um, ag econ class, you kind of bumped into the table a little. <laughs> Does that yeah. happen often? Um, well, funny you should ask. Uh, <laughs> recently, um, something on the handle, I guess, got locked up going to the right. And whenever I turn to the right, it locks a little bit. So I have to take it home and loosen the screw and, refi- and fix everything. Or else I just crash and everything. <laughs> but, Yeah. Thank and God what I'm not would nice. happen if you like did that, but you just tilted and just like landed on the floor? Like, what well, would you do? I, I would probably land on the floor. And yeah, would you just like lay there? Just. Well, would helpless. you would you help me up? I mean, like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would probably call for Aiden. Like, ah, help me. <laughs> no, I would try to get up. I would. I would get up. I'm good. Okay, so uh, over quarantine, like, did you guys play? Like as like how you guys are now, like for football, did you guys play? No, not it's not nearly the same. Um, over quarantine, our season was cut in half. Mm-hmm. Our practices were on and off because they, uh, the COVID. district was saying, you know, COVID. you can only do so much here and there, and uh, I don't know everything. Everything is a lot more in depth this year, and you know, want to answer that question? It's nothing like it was during quarantine. The new coaches we have are amazing. They want us to do the best we can at every position we go to. And what's good is they only have us at, like, one or two positions. They don't have us playing both ways. Yeah, one side of the ball. One side of the ball. So whatever side you're on, you're the best at it, which is really good. I really like these new coaches. That's Shout not how Coach the Ivory. old coaches were? No. 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 With the other coaches, it was a lot of playing both ways, um, meaning you could play offense and defense, um, which, I mean, it helps, you know, when someone's really good. But at the same time, you get tired really fast because you don't have a, any breaks. It was a lot of if you're good, you play the whole game, yeah. which was kind of not fair to everyone well, else. It just worked. It worked. worked. Yeah. We won. We won games. Do you guys feel like there's more pressure since you guys are, like, back? Since we lost? No. Just in general. <laughs> like, do you feel like there's, like, oh. a lot of pressure on you? Um, when it comes to sports, I'd say, yeah, because we have a whole season – well, but school-wise, I don't think so. I personally like coming back to school. I think it's way better in person because you really get to get a good aspect of seeing everyone again, and you're not alone at home watching movies. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Um, with sports, I guess, I, yeah, I guess yeah, there's a little more little more stress and everything going on. I mean, you're walking around campus, you're seeing your coaches, you know, sees you. Why'd you drop the ball on Friday? <laughs> Love you too, Coach. Thanks, Coach. <laughs> Great question. <laughs> but, um... Uh, <laughs> You know, with school, I'm very happy to be back. Um, everything online was just a pain, you know. The only good thing was you got to roll out of bed at 8 o'clock and go to a class at 8.05. But Did you ever, like, sleep through a class? No. Maybe. No. Probably. Like, you turned it on and you just... Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. I, I, yeah. Then you woke up and it was like, oh, everyone's gone. <laughs> just, you left in the <laughs> just you left in the Google Meet. Yeah. I've, I've, I've zoned out before and it was like that. My teacher's kind of like... You still there, buddy? <laughs> For AP Psych, I remember I fell asleep in the class. And Your teacher's probably listening to this right now. I'm Mr. McIntosh. <laughs> I'm sorry for falling asleep. 
I was really tired, and uh, I woke up, and he was there, and he goes, hey, bud, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I just woke up. Okay, so uh, moving on from uh, sports to, like, hobbies and academics. So, Ryan, you mentioned that you're in FFA. Can you give us, like, the inside scoop on things like that? Yeah, of course. Um, in FFA, um, we have, um, we have a, a model called the three-ring model, and that model basically defines everything that is FFA, from the classroom to your SAEs, which are supervised agriculture experience projects, to um, FFA, which is the leadership aspect where you go on your trips and you work with your CDE teams where, you know, you learn a bunch of different skills um, that you can use in speaking competitions and stuff like that. Um, my five main projects um, were in, for my sophomore year began. I raised a pig for the, um, the Southern California Fair over in Paris. Um, my second project was also a pig. It wasn't for the fair because everything went online and... Um, my third project was actually a farmhand position on our farm. I was able to work with our poultry, um, our poultry advisor, and I got to learn the hands-on from the day-to-day responsibility of taking care of chickens. Um, my fourth project was um, a pig. I'm actually I worked on right now. Currently, I'm working with an animal for this year's Southern California Fair. And for the life of me, my fifth project just bumped out of my head. <laughs> but uh, from these projects, uh, especially working with animals you get a lot of hands-on, in-depth learning, and you also learn the importance of responsibility and dedication to something that's much more important than yourself because when you have another animal, you have to make sure that that animal comes before anything else. Christmas morning, you got to wake up. you got to make sure you feed. You can't sleep in because, sure, you want to open your presents, but that animal's got to get fed. So responsibility really kicks in. (laughs) Got it. Okay, so... um Thank you for that and your four projects, but your fifth one, you don't know what it is. Thanks. Yeah, got it. Uh, Black Student Union, right, BSU? Why did you join? Well, as I said earlier, I wanted to get more involved with the school, and it's something new. And today we had a meeting. It was pretty fun. I was a little late, but everyone there seems really nice. Ms. Johnson is really nice, too. Why were you late? I had to go get lunch. I was hungry. (laughs) Wednesdays, am I right? So, what about you, Sam? Are you doing any clubs? Yeah, I'm in, uh, I'm not really as involved in FFA, but I'm in the Media Arts Club. I'm in Link Crew. Me too. Oh, that's no crazy. way. How long have you been in it? Four years. How about you? Me too, four years. Mm. Yeah, Those so. you guys watching, you guys should join the Media Arts Club. It's very fun. We're in yes, it. Yes, it is. You can that's why it's fun, because we're in it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so I'm in the Media Arts Club. I'm in Link Crew. I'm in the Pelly. So if you guys don't know what Pelly is, a lot of people don't. It's like a parent engagement thing, so I have meetings with, like, district people, parents, teachers here. Very fun. But uh, not a lot of people. That does not sound fun. Sounds it's very not grown up. Not yeah, it's fun. it's another leadership thing, like you said. And uh, you have to be recommended by a teacher, so not a lot of kids are in it. I think it's, like, two. <laughs> Jazz, are you involved in anything other than media arts? Um, let me think. Mm, no. <laughs> well, just FFA and AVID, but that's it. Got it. Oh, yeah. AVID as well. That's what I'm in. Mm-hmm. So, you guys are both seniors, correct? Indeed. Are you guys excited for any senior activities? I'm excited to, uh, you know, do. I, I'm just excited to be back at school. Like, Graduate. Yeah, <laughs> I know that's a big that's a big accomplishment for you. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really excited for you know all the events we get to go to this year. I'm not sure how everything's going to work because it's our first year back, and you know, social distance and everything's really closed and so like all of the Disneyland trip I'm not 100% sure about and all that if it's gonna be what it was what I've heard but if it is I'm super excited for all those events Disneyland California Ventures Six Flags that stuff the dances the football games but (laughs) yeah um I'm definitely not excited for the classes though because they're a lot more painful than they were in the past because this is one more year yeah one more year for classes yeah, just regular classes. Are you taking any AP classes? No, not this year. No? Are <laughs> no. you? Aiden? No? no. It's just you. Yeah, I'm an AP psych. That's, That's about it's it. Fun. It's fun. I, I'm enjoying it. Mr. Michael Dodge is very relaxed. Yeah, very. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. 
That was our last oh. question. Oh, all right. All right. Uh, you guys have anything you want to add? Anything you want to ask us? What are you looking forward to the most out of your senior year? Oh. Um, honestly, just like you said, graduating. I'm kind of just... Excited uh, to get out of here. Exactly. I want to go to college. I want to move out. I don't want to be here anymore. Oh, so you hear that, Cristela? Hey. hey no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. Um, yeah, I just want to graduate. It's like a big accomplishment because that means like I did it, you know. So I'm excited to walk. Hopefully we get to walk. That's what I want to do. How about you, Jasmine? Yeah, same. Well, I don't know. Like I want to move out, but like that's kind of sad. My brother was actually crying the other day. Yeah, my mom cries every time I bring it. My mom have to pretends out, like she's not going to cry. <laughs> she's low-key going to cry. My brother, though, he was in tears, and we were at a party, and I was like, Ugh, I'm not leaving yet. You don't have to cry right now. So okay. you guys want to add anything? Anybody? You need to let anyone know anything? It's your last year, guys. Don't hold anything back. No regrets. Join wrestling. Why? Why? Because. Why not? What's so fun about wrestling? What's so fun? You get Yeah, to pitch me your idea. Why should I join wrestling? Well, one, do you feel like you have, like, uh, no. See how there's a pause? <laughs> See, stop. See how there's a pause. Stop. I'm, uh, I'm caught off guard. I had Join wrestling. Well, come on. You can't just why. be, like, join okay. wrestling and then just not have a. Do you like to, like, hurt people? That sounds bad. Do you, so when there's you join wrestling. This a podcast, by the way. Hi, everybody. Stop. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Um. Pharrell. I, okay. <laughs> I think one reason I like wrestling and I fell in love with it is because it really changed my aspect of everything. Like, when it came to dieting. Changed it. I um, first year of wrestling, I had to cut ten pounds in a week. Yeah, let's join wrestling. Did you do it? I did. It was hard, but I, it was for CIF, so I had to cut the cut the weight just to go. And recently, I think the best part about getting through wrestling for all four years was getting to know new people, because you meet a lot of people, and they soon become family. So. Another reason you should join wrestling. I'll be your team captain, and we will be doing a lot of push-ups and workouts. So. Okay, yeah. so, so we're not joining wrestling. Yeah. Just yes, we captain. are. So yes, you, we are. Yeah. So if you're ever really mad about what he just said right now, and you kind of want to hit him, join all right, wrestling. hold on. <laughs> join wrestling. All, there you go. He did it. What sophomore year? Yeah. And he broke his nose. <laughs> two days. Broke his nose in two days, two days. In, in the way, in the wrestling room. Wait, join wrestling. How did you? Because because they can't hit you though, right? Nah, but. You're like, what did you do? Just like roll over down. and it just. No, no, I was going for a takedown and someone just kind of brought their knee up and kissed my face and <laughs> broke his yeah, nose. Broke my nose. By the way, it's, that doesn't always happen. I've only had that happen twice. Yeah, so we're going to join <laughs> wrestling, break a nose. <laughs> Your right. nose drop, you know? <laughs> Wait, if you like to suplex people and slam people on the ground, it's the right thing to do. Um, It's also really fun. Ryan, you got anything to add to that? Besides, he yeah. broke his leg. And yeah. How's a scooter ride? Do you have fun? <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he almost tilted and rolled himself. Really? Yeah, he, like, on the way here, he's like, what? <laughs> you gotta have some fun. Yeah. I always see him just, like, rolling around. And I'm like, oh, there's Ryan. He's just, like, going. Do you think about pushing him over sometimes? No, but I think of, like, what if, like, someone just, you know, and just... He just falls. Tilt, yeah. Tilt I, I don't want to do it, but I'm like, what if someone does it to Isn't him? Isn't it sad that my friends are thinking about this kind of stuff? I was like, <laughs> would it be funny if we just knocked <laughs> him over? Then what What real friends <laughs> would we hilarious. be? What real friends would we be if we I just mean, left I'd help them you alone? After real like ones. After you knock <laughs> them down? I am a real friend. What are you talking about? Hear this kid? Laugh at my pain. Hear this kid? Thank you for joining us for sur- the first episode of Surviving Senioritis. Uh, I'm Samantha Valenzuela. And I'm Jasmine Solano. And we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.